はい、えー、今回はね、えー、世界一の睡眠学者と言われてるマシュー教授が出てるポッドキャストの一部を、まあ、皆さんにお見せしていきたいと思いますでなんでこの動画を見せるのかどれだけ睡眠がお前の人生において大事なパートを占めてるのか本当に頭に焼き付けてほしいからいい俺はこれまでにずっと睡眠がどれだけ大事なのか話してきただけどやっぱりねちゃんとした理由ちゃんとしたなんかねこの睡眠学者みたいなやつがガチで大事だよって言ってる動画見た方が多分みんなもね本当に頭に焼き付くと思うから、えー、それ見せていきたいと思うで多分この動画を見終わった後にはやべえってなると思うやべえマジこれからちゃんと睡眠しないとちゃんと自分の睡眠に対してリスペクト持たないとこのまま適当な睡眠してたら俺は人生を損してる、ね、それぐらい危機感を持つんじゃないかと思ううんだからまあねその辺も含めて、まあ、今回の動画見てえーまあ、正しい知識を身につけて、まあ、今後の人生に役立ててっていってもらえればなと思いますってことで早速見ていきましょう Make a very powerful case why sleep is the foundational pillar of health I used to think that sleep may be the third pillar of good health alongside diet and exercise but the more I sort of did my research and the more I read from other people I realized I was probably wrong That in fact, sleep is the foundation on which those two other things sit.、Um, and I'll give you an example in each. Firstly, for diet and exercise, we know that if people are trying to lose weight and they're being judicious about their food intake, they're trying to、um, diet, but they're not getting sufficient sleep, 70% of all the weight that they lose will come from lean muscle mass and not fat. Wow. Because you're. Key time on. Yabakunai? As your body becomes very stingy in giving up its fat when you are underslept. So, dieting becomes you know, quite redundant in that regard. You, know, you, you want to keep the muscle, you want to let go of the fat, and sleep deprivation will do the opposite to you. Sleeping is not a good thing. I think that the body is not a good thing. I think that the body is not a good thing. I think that the body is not a good thing. So that's the first thing. It's a foundational element on which you know, nutrition sits. We know that、um, without sufficient sleep. Two critical appetite hormones go in opposite bad directions. <laughs> One of those hormones is called leptin, which is a hormone that sort of signals to your body you're full, you're, you don't want to eat anymore. The other hormone is called ghrelin, which does the opposite. It says you're not satisfied with your food, you want to eat more.、Um, what's interesting is that when you sleep deprive people, or even just limit them to maybe just like five or six hours of sleep for a week, levels of leptin, which say you're full, don't eat more, they drop down. Levels of ghrelin, That ramp up your hunger and say, I've just eaten a big meal, but I'm not satisfied. I want to eat more. That hormone skyrockets when you're underslept. So, no wonder people who are sleeping just five to six hours a night will actually eat on average somewhere between two to three hundred extra calories every single day. Let me move over to activity. We've spoken about the foundation on which diet sits. When you are not sleeping sufficient amounts, firstly, The likelihood that you will actually exercise decreases significantly. Your motivation to be physically active drops away. This is what I'm saying. If you don't sleep, you don't do the exercise. 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 You don't do the e x e あ,あ今日やる気出ない、今日仕事モチベーションない、今日集中力すごい低い、なんでちゃんと寝てんの、質の高い睡眠とってんの、そうじゃないんじゃない、だからやる気が出ないんじゃないの、だからモチベーションないんじゃない、だからテストするの低いんじゃないの、いい Even if you are physically active, the intensity of your workout will not be as strong, so it's less effective and less efficient. しかも、じゃあいいよ、寝不足で、それでもジム行きましたと。ジム行ったとしても運動強度低くなるしパフォーマンス落ちるしいいこと一つもないんだよねうんだから俺は別に寝なくて俺はショートスリーパーです寝なくても大丈夫ですボーシェ寝ろって寝ないとお前が 100, 100, あるパフォ100あるポテンシャルのうちの4050しか使えないからいい
真剣に捉えろ。Your things like your vertical jump height, your muscle contraction strength, even the exchange of carbon dioxide and oxygen in your respiratory systems, they get worse when you haven't slept.、Wow. What's even more frightening, however, is that your risk for injury increases when you are exercising but not well slept. This is incredible. So, there is yet another demonstration of how, even if you're trying to be physically active but not getting sufficient sleep, it can be harmful. The beauty of that part of the relationship, and the same for diet, is that it's bi directional. That if you actually you know, improve your sleep, you can improve those two things. But conversely, those two things will improve sleep.、Yeah. So, if you start to. This is what I'm saying. I'm going to say, 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 相関関係がある、ね、一つでも崩れたら両方崩れるんだって、ね、睡眠ちゃんと取れてなかったら運動と食事ってところ崩れるんだってちゃんと運動してなかったら睡眠と食事が崩れるんだってちゃんと食事とってなかったら睡眠と運動ってところ崩れるんだってだから睡眠食事運動なんだってね、yeah. So if you start to correct your diet, you start to sleep better. But physical activity is a great way to enhance both the quality and the quantity of your deep sleep. It sounds almost too good, but don't forget, you know, it took Mother Nature 3.6 million years to evolve this necessity of eight hours of sleep in place. Which I should note, by the way, that if you look at the data, Back in the 1940s, the average adult was sleeping about、uh, 7.9 hours of sleep. Now, the- 平均的な成人の睡眠時間が 7.9 時間、ほぼ8時間あった。そりゃ俺らの何倍もテストステロン高いよ。昔の人たちはテストステロンが1000以上あったって言われてる。今の俺らの平均は300。マジだよ。300、400って言われてる。いや、そりゃめめしい男増える。そりゃまともに機能しない男だらけだって。ね。ちゃんと寝てないんだもん。Now that number here in the United Kingdom is closer to 6 hours and 30 minutes. In other words, within the space of 100 years, which is a blink of an evolutionary eye, we've lopped off almost 20% of our sleep need. You know, how could that not come with demonstrable health and disease consequence? And all it takes is one hour of lost sleep. Because there is a global experiment that's performed on 1.6 billion people across 70 countries twice a year, and it's called daylight savings time. <笑> And it turns out that when you look at that data, これ日が昇る時間と日が落ちる時間がその季節によって変わるから1時間ね時間をずらすっていう制度があるんだね海外では。And it turns out that when you look at that data in the spring when we lose an hour of sleep we see a subsequent 24% increase in heart attacks as a result. It's just incredible. But in the autumn you know when we gain an hour of sleep we see a 21% reduction in heart attacks. So, so the data is there on a, on a... <笑>よくね1時間睡眠が減るだけで心臓発作になる確率が 23% か 23% も上がったらしいで睡眠時間が1時間増えたら心臓発作が起こる可能性が 21% 低下したらしいこんなにもう顕著に出るわけよ16億人に対して調査してこんな数字が出てくるわけよ、ね、睡眠のこの1時間のズレでお前がちゃんと寝てないその1時間は大きな影響をもたらしてんだお前にいいでこれはもう数字になって出てるわけよ目つむれないって So, so the data is there on a, on a global level. The data is, you know, is striking. You know, and you can even think, you, know, you speak a lot about、um, you know, the immune system. It's so key for our health. If you look at people who become infected or you actually infect them in the experimental laboratory, let's say with、yeah. sort of a, a cold、uh, vaccine, or,、um, you immediately trigger increased sleepiness and increased amounts of deep sleep. And it turns out that the infection indicates to the immune system that you're under attack, and the immune system will actually signal to the sleep system within the brain we need more sleep. Sleep is the best battle force that we have right now to combat this assault. And so that's why when you're sick, all you tend to want to do is just curl up in bed and go to sleep. The reason is because your body is trying to sleep you well. It's an appropriate response to what's going on.、Right? Exactly. It, so, bodies are pretty clever, right? It, they are remarkably clever. You know, m- m- again, Mother Nature has figured this out. And so, she brings up this thing called sleep, which I would argue is probably like the Swiss Army knife of health. You know, whatever ailment you are facing, it is more than likely that sleep has a tool in the box to try and help fight it. 
that's so key. Whatever ailment you're facing, guys, if you listen to this, whatever you're suffering from, whether it's you know a lack of energy on a day-to-day basis, or whether it's that you're worried about your risk of developing a chronic disease such as type 2 diabetes or heart problems as you get older, you know, what Matthew is saying, what Professor Walker is saying is that sleep, improving your quality of sleep is going to help you with all these different facets. It's going to help reduce your risk. It's going to help increase your energy. It's also going to reduce your risk of actually getting disease in the future, which is just absolutely incredible. From everything I can tell, sleep is perhaps one of the most democratic, freely available, efficacious forms of um, of health insurance that you could ever wish for. お前の人としてのパフォーマンスが落ちる。男としてのパフォーマンスが落ちる。全てにおけるパフォーマンスが落ちるわけよ。いい。だから、しょうもないって。ちょっとゲームしたいからって夜更かしてるの。しょうもない
まあ、もちろん食事に対する正しい知識運動に対する正しい知識そういったそういった部分も大事だけどそういった正しい知識持ってても睡眠がしっかりで,できてなかったらそれらの正しい知識も実行できないわけよだからまあ真剣に捉えて、えー、今後いい睡眠とってハイレベルな男を目指していきましょうということできついときこそやらなきゃいけないことやるぜちょ